Yeah, it tracks me the entire time. And I can go pretty quick. What's up guys? Here at the laundromat. Uh, just found a problem that has been in the back of my mind for quite some time. Um, something that needed to be checked and that maybe need to be replaced. I come in today, it's been raining just a little bit, but I keep hearing a drip, drip, drip. And I finally found it. Um, these three quarter inch washer hose has developed, let me see here, a leak. I don't know, I don't know if it needs an O-ring or what it is, um, but I'm very seriously considering just ordering a new, uh, new hoses. However, these hoses are $30 a piece and that's 60 times four, that's $240 in hoses. So, but we'll see and that's part of uh, doing business. What is going on guys? Back here at the laundromat, uh, just your typical day. I came in, cleaned, um, did the normal thing, mopped up a few places, uh, fixed the machine, um, had a, uh, a three quarter inch uh, supply line that started leaking on me there the other day. And like literally I called it just as it started dripping. Um, it probably hadn't been dripping for more than an hour. Uh, but got that ordered, got that replaced. Turns out those particular um, three quarter inch hoses were from 1994. And while I, once I started checking everything out, um, I believe I got video of it. Uh, most of my supply lines for those bigger machines are um, from 1994. So a good, what, 26 years old, so. We're gonna go ahead and start replacing those. They cost around $50 a machine, so that's a good chunk of change. It's about $450, $500 to replace them all, so. But that's just part of the expense. Um, what I got today, I got this off Amazon for 50 bucks. Um, and it's, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I guas or something like that. It is a, um, let's see here. Works with Alexa Echo Show. I don't know what that is, um, but I'm able to move it around. It's got onboard storage, motion detection. It's got cloud storage, uh, HD, infrared, night vision, um, and it's waterproof. So I gotta figure out where I'm gonna mount it. Um, there's what it there's what it looks like it mounts up like that right there I'm sure I could probably mount it that way but I'm gonna lose quite a bit of motion but it's got 355 degrees of motion left and right um, 110 degrees up and down so I figure I'm gonna put it on the wall like so that way I can look around. Thought about putting it right uh, there, but that's gonna limit my view of up here. My next option is right here on this, but I've got to find out if the power cord's long enough or not. And if I have a, <clears throat> if I have a place to actually plug it in somewhere, so. Don't 
like I said, I just paid 50 bucks for it, so it, it really ain't too expensive. Um, very curious to see what it looks like and how it works and everything. I actually have the camera dome in the ceiling. Um, this is, I believe, has a microphone on it um, somewhere. So I want to be able to, uh, I want to be able to talk to people. If I mounted it right there, I could probably get a decent little view. I just gotta figure out um, where I can pick up the power from. So I had one power slot left in my, left on my thing there, so. Um, I think I'm gonna mount it right there. get it set up, hopefully be able to look at it on the app um, when I go to install it here. I'll be right back. I've got to use my phone to set this thing up with and uh, I'll do some screen recording of it. It should go through a test cycle in just a second. So it should test um, the 355 degrees of motion and then it'll test the um, 110 degrees of motion. And I believe what it's doing is just calibrating. So it's just calibrating. There we go. To say the least, I'm very impressed. Um, I'll include the clips that I took uh, while screen recording and figuring out where I wanted to set up. Um, literally can see almost the entire laundromat. Um, it'd be great if I could drop it down like in the middle 
um, that I could see the entire laundromat, but it's not that important. I have two other cameras. My biggest, biggest thing that I don't like, here's the biggest thing, is along with this, my Simply Safe cameras are both closed. Um, I can't think of the word it's called. Um, they're not open source. You can't reference another app. Um, you can't uh, use another app to uh, view them. Um, with uh, the camera, regular camera system, it's an IP system. So you can, if you wanted to build an app, you can make it integrated and you know look at everything on one app. But um, that's my biggest thing. And I've not really found anything for the money. Um, to view and do what I can do with this camera, my other camera, and my Simply Safe camera. The Simply Safe camera is just an added bonus. Um, probably will end up going with this and maybe another one up there. Uh, but we'll just, we're gonna test this out for a while and see where it goes. So you can't beat 50 bucks. I mean, really, honestly, that's a, that's a deal and a half for this thing because um, I don't know if it's because I was on the same Wi-Fi network, so I'll have to test that. But it was a very clear image. Um, very clear. So we'll get it uh, knocked out here. Let's go find our tools. Generally, um, if I can't reach it, no one else can. So I'm six foot four. show you how lucky I got on this. I don't know why I didn't look before I drilled. I guess it's just because it's early in the morning. I'm trying to hurry. But stud. This ends up being a six inch wall. And I'm sitting here trying to drill in the what? Uh bottom or three inches. That's how lucky I got. Can you see it right there? So Hopefully be able to pull that through and Beat it all, I'm not even gonna have to use my extension cord. That's freaking awesome. Cause I really didn't wanna run it. I'll tell you what, if I ever do get the opportunity to build a, a laundromat, there will be plenty of power sources in the uh, in the office area, plenty of power sources. And just like that, we're in business. We'll get our uh, we'll get our tools cleaned up, our mess cleaned up. what she looks like. Shoot this back here. Just in case. 
I guess it doesn't go through the self. Yeah, it did. I think. I don't know if it went through the self test or not. You know what I didn't check though? I didn't check to see if there was actually a, uh, a, um, yeah, a micro SD card in there or not. It said 64, so I don't know if it uh, come with one or what. Um, we'll check that out on the app, um, which today, so, or, you know, nowadays you can get probably 108, 128 or, uh, what is it? 356, so, or 512, so, I uh, heck, we should probably even get a terabyte. I think a terabyte, I don't know about a terabyte, maybe not, that'd be expensive as crap. Um, that'll probably were, be worth, uh, 64 gigabytes probably worth one day if that so we'll just uh we'll have to play it by ear but uh thank you for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed consider subscribing there's always something going on at the laundromat we're always trying to improve we're always trying to you know take the next step so thanks for watching god bless